Good day everyone. How are you today? It's me again Teacher Koy and welcome to Easy Math Tutorial. Our topic for today is how to factor trinomials whose leading coefficient is 1. Pero bago po yan, if you're new to my channel, please, please, please don't forget to subscribe and press that notification bell so that you will be updated in my videos. Factoring trinomial whose leading numerical coefficient is 1. This is for grade 8 mathematics, first quarter. Before we proceed, check muna natin kung ano ba yung indication ng isang trinomial na ang kaniyang leading numerical coefficient is 1. So I have here of a trinomial whose leading numerical coefficient is 1. We have here x squared minus 3x minus 4. So we can say that this trinomial has a leading numerical coefficient 1. Bakit? Ito po yung first term natin. x squared. Kahit wala siyang katabi ng numerical coefficient, ang ibig po sabihin nito, automatic na mayroong 1 na numerical coefficient. O, katulad din ito. x squared minus 9x minus 10. Ito din. x squared plus 5x minus 6. So, these are the examples of a trinomial whose leading numerical coefficient is 1. To factor trinomials with 1 as the numerical coefficient of the leading term, we have to follow these four steps. Step 1. Factor the leading term of the trinomial and write this as the leading term of the factors. Step 2. List down all the factors of the last term. Step 3. Identify which factor pair sums up to the middle term. Then, step 4. Write factor pairs as the last term of the binomial factors. So, yan po yung apat na steps if we factor a trinomial with 1 as the numerical coefficient of the leading term. Okay, so we will go to our first example para po mas maintindihan po natin yung apat na steps. So I have here example number one. This is our given. y squared plus 4y minus 21. Step one, factor the leading term of the trinomial and write this as the leading term of the binomial factors. So, may tatlong terms po tayo. We have our first term, y squared. Second term, positive 4y. So, then our last term is negative 21. So, our first term is y squared. So, this is a trinomial whose leading coefficient is 1. Okay? So, according to step 1, i-factor po natin ito. Yung first term. So, y squared, the factor of y squared is y and y. Because y squared is the product of y multiplied by another y. So, y squared. And we will write this one as the leading term of our binomial factor. So, ito na po ang ating step 1. So, we will go to step number 2. Step number two, list all the factors of negative 21. Here's our given, y squared plus 4y minus 21. Yung kulay blue, ito po yung nasa step 1. Diba, nakuha na natin to. Ngayon, step 2, to kulay green. Nilagyan ko ng kulay green para mas ma-identify. So, ito po yung last term po natin. Diba? So, list all the factors of negative 21. So, I have here the factors of negative 21. We have here negative 3 and positive 7. Because if we multiply negative 3 to positive 7, 
the result is negative 21. And we have also negative 7 and positive 3. Negative 7 times positive 3 is still negative 21. And negative 21 and positive 1. So therefore, negative 21 times positive 1, the result is negative 21. And we have also negative 1 and positive 21. If we multiply negative 1 and positive 21, the result is still negative 21. So ito na po yung factors ni negative 21. Let's go to step number 3. Step number 3. So, ito po yung given po natin. So, ito yung kulay blue. Nakuha na po natin to sa step 1. Itong kulay green, nakuha na natin sa step 2. Ito namang kulay pula. Ito po yung nasa step 3. Okay, step 3. Find factors of negative 21 whose sum is positive 4. Ito po yung middle term po natin na coefficient, yung positive 4. Yan. So, meron tayong apat na factor sa negative 21. Diba? Na-list na po natin to doon sa step 2. So, nilang apat, isa lang ang factor ni negative 21 na if we add that to, the result is positive 4. So, nilang apat, ito lang si negative 3 and positive 7. Na if we add this to, the result is positive 4. So, ito po yung gagamitin natin sa step number 4. Okay, so we will go to step number 4. Step number 4. So, ito po yung given natin. y squared plus 4y minus 21. Step 4, write factor pairs as the last term of the binomial factors. Okay, so from step 1, ito po yung nakuha natin sa step 1. Diba? A factor of our first term or the leading term. Then sa step 2, nilist po natin yung lahat ng factor or lahat ng factors ni negative 21. And sa step 3, na-identify po natin kung alin sa lahat ng factors ni negative 21 na if we add that to Ang result is itong middle term na positive 4, yung numerical coefficient po ng middle term. So, na-identify na po natin si negative 3 and positive 7. Sa step 4, write factor pairs as the last term of the binomial factors. Ito si negative 3 at saka si positive 7, sila po yung last term sa ating binomial factors. So, naging quantity y minus 3. Ito po yun, negative 3, times quantity y plus 7. So, ito po yun, si positive 7. So, itong dalawang y, galing po to sa step 1. Itong si negative 3 and positive 7, ito po yung result na step 2 at saka step 3. So, therefore, our answer is the factor of y squared plus 4y minus 21 is quantity y minus 3 times the quantity y plus 7. At kung gagamitan natin to ng FOIL method, itong quantity y minus 3 times quantity y plus 7, ang result po nito ay babalik po tayo dito sa original equation nga y squared plus 4y minus 21. So this is our second and last example. We have here the given x squared plus 7x plus 10. So, this is a trinomial whose leading numerical coefficient is 1. Ito po yun, x squared. Okay, so step 1. I-factor po natin yung first term. So, x squared, the factor of x squared is x and x. Because x squared is the product of x multiplied by another x. Step 2. List all the factors of positive 10, which is our last term. So, ito na po yun. Yung factors ni positive 10. We have here positive 5 and positive 2. 
if we multiply positive 5 and positive 2, the result is positive 10. And negative 5 and negative 2. Diba? Negative times negative, the result is positive. So, therefore, positive 10. We have also positive 10 and positive 1. Still, the result is positive 10. And we have also negative 10 and negative 1. Still, the result is positive 10. Okay, so okay na po yung step 2. Step 3. So, i-identify po natin kung saan sa kanilang apat na if we add that 2 factor, ang result is yung numerical coefficient ng ating middle term na si positive 7. So, therefore, nilang apat, ito lang si positive 5 and positive 2. Na if we add this 2, the result is positive 7. So, yan po yung step 3 po natin. Ito. Therefore, sa step 4, yung result ng step 3, sila po yung gagamitin natin na last term sa ating binomial factors. So, ito na po yung ating final answer. So, therefore, the factor of x squared plus 7x plus 10 is quantity x plus 5 times the quantity of x plus 2. At kung gagamitan natin ito ng FOIL method, babalik po tayo dito sa ating original na equation. So, therefore, ang ibig sabihin, tama po yung sagot natin. That's all for today. At sana, marami pa kayo natutunan at maraming salamat sa pagbisita. See you in my next video.